I feel like um, somebody following me. So I come out my apartment, right? And this dude, he he's walking to the 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 garbage can, and then he sees me, and then he zooms back to his car and sits in his car. Then I'm not paying no attention because I take a while to get in my car um, because I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. So then I'm looking, and while I pull it, while I'm pulling off, homeboy pulls off, and like he's turning where I'm turning. Like fam, you don't want no problems. You don't want to do it to yourself. And I know, I know y'all are gonna be like, well, that's not the right course of action, Shay. Just go a different route don't antagonize the person but like sometimes you gotta let people know I'm crazy <laughs> eyes got big um yeah y'all so the concert last night was a bomb diggity I'm happy that I went I don't I didn't really listen to PJ Morton. Um I didn't really listen to PJ Morton before I met Sexy Slim. And I heard a few of his songs and I was like, oh these songs are fire. But to actually hear it in live in person, a different little ring. I feel like if I go back here. It will lead me to that street. Hopefully, I I don't get lost. I feel like it should lead me to this back street. Um, maybe not. going girl but yeah um hearing music live like with a band and everything a whole different experience if you guys never experienced that before do me a favor 2020 go to at least one i mean concerts are expensive i mean if you want to keep it honest and true concerts are expensive but low key I should be cooking low key low key I should be cooking <sighs> rain or shine it's always taking time hi can I get um a kill oh, hold on I'm sorry Thank you so much. Is there ketchup in here? Ketchup, it's a thinner. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. I really don't want to go that way again. Um. Yeah, so... Now I'm planning out my 2020 year. Um, I'm tr I'm figure not trying. I'm starting a plan. Me and Sexy Slim are supposed to be having a conversation today because he does social like he's really good with social media and he has his own um, business. So I'm going to sit down and have a conversation with him and ask him. Like, he's giving me tips on how to, like, strengthen my social media presence. And um, so it could turn into me working with brands. And that will turn into me getting dinero. 
the problem is is that he told me these things and I still didn't follow through like <coughs> I could be the first person to say that he's given me some great advice and I ain't really listen to it well I listened to it but I was like getting in my own head like second guessing my gifts and looking at other people and comparing myself to like his success for instance and other people that I know that are like killing the game so I just was like okay this works for y'all because y'all are at this level I'm not at that level yet so how the hell is that gonna work for me that's the problem right so yeah we're gonna talk about that plus um I need to put write down my manifestation goals and dreams for 2020 um and I just gotta do things a little different a lot a lot different um mainly on the financial realm listen the past couple years I just don't know when is the last time I haven't been struggling so I'm not trying to put it out there that I'm just gonna be struggling for the rest of my existence but I'm just be honest with myself I've been struggling for the past few years like I haven't had a year where I just was like yeah this is a great year blase bloop 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 uh, some great things have happened don't get me wrong but the year like I still struggled financially and I need to switch some things majorly in my life so these things don't happen again right I'm at an age right now that low-key I should have my finances in order um but I don't um that's something that I really got to work on. So, I have to write a business plan, a financial plan. Um, I have to just do what's best for me, not necessarily what's best for everybody else. And yeah, I'm about to drink some of his lemonade. Thirsty. And I got a kid's cup, so mine will be gone shortly. <laughs> Raising Cane's Lemonade. So daggone good. Why would you do a whole U-turn and then come in? Oh, uh, and then slow down with it. Drive! Sorry, y'all. The guy does a U-turn, right? Goes to the stop sign, the stoplight, because it's green, then makes another U-turn coming back down from the place he just made a U-turn from. What you doing, Willis? What you doing? Why are you playing with my emotions? Drive your bumble clock car, baby. All right, y'all, so I'm just rambling at this point. I'm not really talking about much. So if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, also click my website and go buy yourself some covet oil and some lavender hair moisturizer. That leave-in good stuff, girl, good stuff. Um, good Christmas gift, good whatever. Good for you, sis. Um, yeah, and I love y'all so much. We gonna rock out for Vlogmas. Are we gonna rock out for Vlogmas? What other stuff y'all want to see me record? Why does everybody in Texas have an F one fifty? So you just not gonna you just not gonna move your truck? I hate fucking assholes, bro.
asshole, bro. Oh my God. Yeah. Ugh. Okay, let me get off this phone because I have bad road rage. Like, really bad road rage. And you guys don't need to see me in that light. I'm an angel. <laughs> see you later, Tiger Lilies. Chills. Crash course. Let me hide the money in the dashboard. Max mad, could you lost the brick inside the porch? Goofy with the curb, then asking me for intercourse.